Buffalo Wild Wings cooks their wings in beef tallow. They are one of the only chain restaurants who doesn't cook their meats in any inflammatory canola oil or vegetable seed oils. No. So if needing a quick meal on the road or a meal for work, B Doves is gonna be one of the better options as far as how they prepare their food. This video is all about tips, tricks, and affordable meal prepping for when we need meals on the go. Now, very candidly, my husband and I don't actually go to Buffalo Wild Wings. Not because we hate chicken, but because we're cheap. We go out to eat maybe one or two times a year because our friends wanna go, but here's the deal. I can make food at home that tastes yummier, is better quality, and costs less money. When I was 22, I was living in Hawaii, working at a fancy pants hotel in Maui, and all of these millionaires would come on their vacations. And I would ask them, what advice do you have for a young person like myself to one day be able to be like you coming on these nice long vacations in Hawaii? The very first person I asked this question to, what advice do you have for a young person to essentially have lots of money one day? Their response was, don't go out to eat. And I was like, okay, done. In fact, according to the US Labor of Statistics, the average American spends $3,500 a year going out to eat, getting a Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, fast food. Meanwhile, your girl Lil's over here takes that $3,500 that I didn't spend going out to eat, and instead I'll put that money towards a nice vacation or just better quality food. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not saying that people need to be like me and share my same opinion. I'm just explaining my philosophy behind why for us, our meals on the go, we are making and then taken rather than going out to eat. If someone needs meal ideas for work, these ideas are going to work beautifully, especially if you have a fridge at work, but otherwise these are just the meals that we take when we're traveling. Whether we are taking a road trip or flying on a plane, the night before our travels, we'll make a pound of meat each, put the meat in containers in the fridge, and the next day, if we're traveling by car, we'll take a little cooler, put some ice packs in it with spoons, salt, and our meat. Or if we're traveling by plane, we put the meat containers in a plastic bag without the ice packs, and we're just sure to eat the meat within three to four hours after being out of the fridge. When bringing food through TSA, they will look at it and ask what it is. What the and specifically with our salt, they will shake a little bit out in like a petri dish and test it to make sure it's not a bomb. Or, you know, some sort of explosive powder or something. So they will test the salt. But other than that, I have brought so much food through TSA. Even back when I was a little girl, I used to bring things like salads, sandwiches, chips, cookies, crackers, candies. And then nowadays, I'd be bringing pounds of meat bricks of butter, tubs of ghee, oysters, hard boiled eggs, blocks of cheese. And I do think it has to be a hard cheese. I don't think you can bring spreadable cheeses through TSA. Yet somehow I brought ghee and that was fine. Fruit, sardines, a yes, stinking up the airplane. Meat sticks, meat bars, beef jerky, pork rinds, cheese wisp, which are nice to have like that crunch, or carrot sticks. You name the food, I have likely taken it through TSA. It's the same thing if needing meals for work. Any combination of these foods works really easily. And then I tend to stick to ground meat options like ground beef, ground chicken, ground pork, ground turkey, ground elk, venison, lamb, bison, any kind of ground meat rather than taking a steak or chicken breast to work. Therefore needing to bring like a fork and a knife and chop and cut and it just takes longer. It's easier to just spoon in some ground meat on a short lunch break. I do just eat my ground meats cold with a little bit of salt, it is so tasty. I actually prefer the taste of ground beef cold, but again, if you're taking these meals to work and you have a microwave, then you can just heat it up. To save time cooking, one day of the week, you can make a dozen hard boiled eggs and cook up like five pounds of meat, then put a pound of meat in five separate containers, plus you already have those hard boiled eggs ready to go, and then you'll just grab and go in the morning with those meals already prepared. Of course, if you enjoy vegetables, then you could just put some veggies in the containers as well. I'm not a veggie racist, I'm just often too lazy to make them. But sometimes my husband cooks them for me, which gives me more flavor and variety to my meals. Lately, we've been having more ground turkey as Costco's avocados are finally ripe again. And everyone knows turkey and avocado go together like bacon and eggs. 
I will admit the annoying thing about turkey is that it has very little fat, and so because it's so lean, when we, well, the first time we put it in our cast iron pan, it stuck to the bottom of our pan and we had to scrape it for a long time to get it off. Rookie mistake. If you cook ground turkey or ground chicken, you'll definitely want to use a nonstick pan so it doesn't stick. And when it comes to nonstick pans, two words, avoid Teflon. We don't want those chemicals seeping out into our food as they've been linked to causing cancer. Companies using Teflon have even been sued for poisoning people. We got our nice ceramic pans free of chemicals yeah! from Chef's Foundry. It's trendy, it's durable, it's versatile, as the handle does come off, which gives us the ability to even bake with these pans in the oven. And this also makes it easier for us to save space and store them nicely in our cupboards. We couldn't be happier with these pans and how easy they are to clean. You can get 50% off Chef's Foundry's pans using the link in the description. Ground turkey, avocado, and cheddar cheese, perfect meal on the go. We actually just went to a matinee movie to see Dune 2, and we brought these meals with us and ate them while watching the movie. Yes, I know, we're so extra. If you tolerate milk, we take raw milk with us on our road trips. If you need extra protein, throw in a scoop of protein powder, and now you're looking at just the most simple, fast roadie on the goey. There's also these Redwood Hill goat's milk kefir drinks which for people who may have sensitivities to cow's dairy, they tend to do better with the sheep's and goat's dairy as they have smaller fat globulins, different protein structures, and less lactose, making it easier on digestion. What I love about kefir is that it's rich in probiotics, calcium, vitamin K, and magnesium, though just giving a heads up, kefir is more tangy, whereas milk and yogurt tend to be more sweet and fatty, kefir tends to be just a little bit more sour, kind of like Greek yogurt. I usually don't like kefir because it's a little bit sour tasting, but we figured we would try it again. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Another fast nutritious drink option would be bone broth. I just pour bone broth in my pot, heat it up, pour it in my thermos, and then take it on the road or if you have a microwave at work, then if you had a bone broth bag or carton, you can always take it to work and then heat it up. I've also seen these prosciutto cheese wraps in the stores, which are more expensive than just making your own meat and cheese at home, but for those needing a break from cooking, this is a really good high protein option that's still cheaper than going out to eat. I'm not a huge grocery store rotisserie chicken gal, as they usually tend to have unnecessary added ingredients in them, like potato dextrin, carrageenan, sugar, and dextrose. But this chicken is still a way healthier option than the majority of foods in the grocery store. So for a convenient option, get yourself a clucker and dig in. I've made these egg bites before by simply cracking eggs in a cup, mixing it up, throwing it in a muffin tin, adding sausage, chorizo, bacon, whatever tickles your toes, and then bake in the oven at 375 degrees for 12 minutes. And these bad boys travel super easily. Let's talk about protein bars. I have searched all over the stores for clean ingredient protein bars, and well, frankly, most are naughty. However, I'm a firm believer in making better bad habits. And what I mean by this is instead of grabbing for a Snickers bar or a cookie, at least these protein bars taste like a Snickers bar and look like cookies, but they have more protein in them. So these are a step in the right direction. I have had several clients who use these protein bars to fulfill their sugar cravings and get in more protein, and they eat these bars and still lose weight. Now, their ingredients aren't fantastic, but again, these protein bars are a better option than most of the snacky things that people usually just quick grab and go. Even better than these bars would be the RX bars, as they have ingredients you can recognize using real whole foods. There are also these Epic bars. These aren't really protein bars as much as they're more like a meat bar, but they're still a really tasty protein on the go convenient option. There's also such a thing as purse bacon, where you just make a ton of bacon, put it in the fridge so that throughout the week, you can just put some bacon in a Ziploc bag, throw it in your purse, and you've got yourself some purse bacon. If you're a dude, this can be one of those Napoleon Dynamite moments where instead of putting tater tots in your pocket, you've got bacon in your pants. 
If that's not a way to attract the ladies, I don't know what's gonna do it. If you're looking to finally see results on your health journey, whether that be losing weight, building muscle, healing an autoimmune condition, then I would love to help you on your health journey. I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's a link in the description to my coaching services where I can help create meal plans, answer questions, and give more guidance on your journey. Don't be silly, subscribe to Lily, and I'll see you in the next one.